Hang up the phone. I told you, hang up the phone. Hang it up. Hang it up. Hang it up. Do it. Okay. Yeah, hang up the phone. You better hang it up. Good, just don't hang up there. See if I care. Yeah, and I'm asking you to hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. God damn it. Hang up your phone. You're the one I hung up the phone call. I finished my phone call. And I hung it up. I didn't want to call the part of me. I hung up my phone call. Hang up the motherfucking phone. You're the one I hung up the phone call. I finished my phone call. And I hung up my phone call. Hang up the motherfucking phone. The fuck is the fair? Ha, she hung up. I win. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 512 on November 22nd, 2018. I'm your host, Brad. Hey, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Today's sponsors are Michael D., Not Pike, Teen Wolf Jesus, Toiny Toiny, and It's Not Vagina Time. That's their name. I'm not declaring that or anything. It's not vagina time. I'm doing a show today, even though I have to, I don't know, I think I have to stay up until 7 in the morning tomorrow morning. At this point, I only got six hours of sleep last night. I'm going to try and sleep tonight and then wake up at three in the morning. But it's Pranksgiving. It's that time of year where me and several other people do a full 24 hours of live prank calls shows. That all starts tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern with Big Carlito. It looks like he's doing five hours tonight. Holy crap. I think he did that last year, too. And because of that, the Green Beast, he only gets two hours. He's doing 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. These are Eastern times, okay? I'm just going to read Eastern times. I don't want to do all the time zone stuff. So Carlito at 10 o'clock tonight. The Green Beast at 3 in the morning tonight or Friday morning, however you want to look at it. He's doing a couple hours. Then there is the Superphone Brothers plus Lux. It's a weird font. I, I'm, yeah, that must be Lux. Holy crap. Lux is going to be doing a show for two hours from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., and I'll be taking over after them from 7 a.m. until 10 a.m., which is 4 a.m. my time to 7 a.m. That's going to suck. I'm probably going to fall asleep on the air. Uh, after me, we've got Jag TV. He's doing 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. After that is Party Time, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Then we've got Dwight from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. And after that, the grand finale, Giad from Calls of Mass Confusion. He's doing 7 p.m. tomorrow until 10 p.m. and that will wrap up the full 24 hours and Giad, i don't know exactly what he has planned but i think it's going to be some fun stuff i'm going to be there for Giad's show too possibly for the entire three hours and i don't think you're going to want to miss that one so be sure to be listening to that one at least you know screw all these other people that i just mentioned just be sure to be up at seven in the morning on friday morning to listen to me for three hours and then seven in the evening hopefully i'll get some sleep in between that time 
for Giad's Calls of Mass Confusion wrap-up show. I hear he's going to be answering some questions about Calls of Mass Confusion, maybe. So you don't want to miss that. 7 p.m. Eastern Time and 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Those are the important times. But really, you should be listening to Prank Call Nation for 24 hours, starting tonight with Carlito. Just stay up. I have to stay up. You guys should stay up, too. I'm going to buy a bunch of Pepsi, a bunch of snacks, and hopefully I'll make it. I know I made it last year, but I think last year I was two hours earlier, maybe. So we'll see. Yesterday, uh, Giat, he released his very last video for Calls of Mass Confusion for the second season. And I don't think I was even in it. It was a bunch of bullshit is what it was. But if you want to watch that, it's youtube.com slash Jesus in a dump truck. And oh yeah, I should uh, probably explain what that beginning, that opening clip was before the intro started. The hang up the phone thing. Somebody on Facebook posted this clip of this lady in a coffee shop losing her shit because I guess they asked her to hang up her phone. And somebody suggested that someone should use the, the hang up the phone soundboard and combine the two so that was my attempt at doing that i don't think it was too funny but i tried there's actually video of her though losing her shit inside a coffee shop if you want to watch that i'll have a link to it in the show notes and i guess i'll also put a link in the show notes to the uh hang up the phone soundboard if you want to make your own hang up the phone calls i mentioned on the facebook group where they posted that video that the lady reminded me of two things one she reminds me of annie wilkes from misery listen to this they just cheated us this is it he didn't get out of the cock a duty car! I love that clip. And this lady from the cinematic masterpiece, Maximum Overdrive. You can! We made you! We get some loyalty, you beauty thing! We made you! We made- That's her screaming at uh, semi trucks that have come to life. Yeah. Anyway, um, okay, what's been happening this week? I did a hobo sode a couple of days ago on Tuesday. I did a bunch of the check-in calls, you know, Yelp check-ins. I haven't done those in a while. And this one happened that was pretty amusing, I thought. I called up a pizza hut. This guy checked into a pizza hut, and he was there with his grandma, but she wouldn't let him come to the phone. And finally, after I kept getting the employees to bug them to come to the phone, the irritable grandma came over and talked to me on the phone. And before this, one of the employees said that she's been yelling at me the, the whole time she's been here. Like, not a pleasant woman, you know? But here's a bit of the conversation I had with her. And who are you? Are you an employee there? Or are you a... Uh... Uh, no, I am a customer. Oh, are so you... So you're a supervisor or you, something you, over there? You, you must be Chris's grandmother. We've heard so much about you. Really? Yes. Okay, you know what? This sounds like a prank. No, so it's... you know what? Shove your conversation. Whoa, hey. <laughs> Holy crap. Now that I think about it, maybe that wasn't his grandma. Maybe that was his mom and she was offended because I said it's his grandma. And she's like, what? I'm not old. But I did a full 20 minutes of check-in calls. There's a bunch of others in there. If you want to go listen to them, you can find those at patreon.com slash phone losers. Support the show and you get at least one extra show every single week. By the way, thanks to the new patrons who have signed up. Jeffrey, M, Adam, R, and Rhett, S. Those three people have signed up recently and they get to hear the entire 20 minutes of check-in calls. Most of which did not work out at all. Lucky them. Also, recently, I did a new uh, PLA show, the call-in show. Me and Clay from the Ask Mr. Big Show, we got on the air the other night and took a bunch of calls, and uh, we ended up staying on for nearly five hours. So if you feel like listening to me and Clay take calls for five hours straight, are you in luck? Head over to phonelosers.com and listen to the PLA show, episode 12. There's at least an hour worth of good material in that five hours, I think. You'll just have to listen and find out. Oh, by the way, thank you to Johnny for the uh, the show art today. Uh, apparently, he couldn't handle Christopher making me a uh, vending machine robot from an escape room. He had to do one that's even better. And I'm sorry, Christopher. I think Johnny has won the contest. He drew this amazing picture of a vending machine coming to life and sprouting a couple of robot arms and hitting Chad in the stomach with a can of soda. Just like in Maximum Overdrive, by the way. And it's pretty amazing. Thank you, Johnny, for making this. It is today's show art. Everyone definitely needs to go take a look at this at snowplowshow.com. It looks like we have a brand new song by Henrik. Let's play that and get started with today's show. Your trailer's on the road. 
Yeah. Well, I put I hooked up motors to the wheels, like electric motors, because I, I wanted to see if I could drive it around. I did. That's what I'm saying. I accident. I did. I drove my trailer and I crashed it into my neighbor's trailer. Last night, uh, some guy made a suggestion on one of my YouTube videos. I think it was one of the Mr. Dabalina YouTube videos. Uh, this guy's name is Yao Dude 7 on YouTube. And he says that I should call someone and tell them you're a treasure hunt organizer and you've hidden some treasures around their house, maybe on the roof or buried in the backyard, and to not be surprised when they see treasure hunters with metal detectors walking around their house. And usually I ignore ideas that people post in the YouTube video comments, but this one is too good to pass up. Thank you, Yadude7. I'm gonna do something similar to this. I'm not gonna say that we're going on the roof or anything, but what if I just say I'm with the local metal detecting club and we've chosen their yard to hold today's event in? So a bunch of people are gonna show up with metal detectors and just walk all over the yard and, and you know with their little shovels dig things up. Homeowners tend to not like when you dig holes in their yard, I've noticed this past year. But this is okay because these are little holes, right? They're not gonna have a problem with little holes. Hello. Hello, Gene. Yes. Hey, it's your neighbor Roy. I, I, I live just down the street in the blue house, you know. Uh-huh. Um I, I do the, the metal detecting club in this area. And we're going to be holding an event um, this this afternoon. It's going to be in your yard. So I'm, I'm just yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just letting you know. There's, gonna, huh? What? You, you, you sure you uh, you? Uh, I think you've got the wrong uh, gene. Oh no! You live uh, 24 f drive. Yeah. Mm -hmm, right. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be about 20 of us. We're going to come there with metal detectors. And just det no, I don't think so. No, just for a couple hours, and we're gonna just detect uh, all over uh, your yard. Like, have you ever lost nope. a ring or, or <laughs> you know anything important? Because we'll find it. <laughs> I don't want. I don't care. You're not. You're not doing it in my yard. Oh no, we've already made the decision. We voted. We had like well, ten the decision. Well, you're gonna get. You're gonna go to jail if you've already made that decision. And you show no, up in my yard. No, it, you might even get shot. Uh, no, no, you're not allowed to go around. Yeah, you, you like hell you won't. You just come here and try it. Look, I'm telling you right now, you ain't doing it. Look, it's just a metal. Don't try it. It's just Goodbye. a. It's just a metal detecting club. Wow, first call of the day, and someone's already threatened to shoot me. Usually takes at least three calls before that happens. I never realized how dangerous metal detecting was. I'm starting to have a lot more respect for people that do that. Hello. Hello, Carol. Yes. Hey, it's Roy, your neighbor. I live down the street on the drive. Yes. Uh, I'm in the blue house. Um, hey, I'm 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 organized. I, I'm the uh, the president of the um, treasure hunters club here in in the neighborhood. You know, we we do we do we do metal detecting, and we're we're gonna be yeah. hol we're gonna be holding an event in your yard in about three hours. No, you aren't. Because oh. Cause why? This is Thanksgiving. We don't do anything on Thanksgiving. I know it's a Thanksgiving event. You don't have to participate. You just ignore us. But there's going to be a, about 20 of us. We're going to show up with metal detectors and shovels. I don't want anybody in my yard on yep. Thanksgiving. Well, uh, I mean, tomorrow then? I mean, I don't like to, to be this way, but I just don't want anybody in my yard. Yeah, but we might find something. We're just going to go around with metal detectors, and anytime it beeps, we're going to dig a hole. And see You'll what, have to go to somebody else's yard. Um, well, why not? Well, you're not you're not going to be using the yard, right? Yeah, probably. Probably. But, but this is Thanksgiving, please. I don't want any event in my yard. Well, it's just a small event. There's just twenty of us. I said no. Please. No. Because we already voted. We 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 voted I on. Don't, you voted. It's my yard. 
and I don't want anybody in it. Yeah, but we voted on ten different lawns, and and yours won. So we're we're gonna well, just... that's fine. You'll just have to go to the second best. We might find something that you lost, you know, years ago. I haven't. If I've lost it, I'm not looking for it. Yeah, but you know, like you might be surprised. We I could said find, no. Find a you ring. You understand that? Or a necklace, or some money. I do not want anyone in Gas my pipes. yard. This is Thanksgiving. I want my yard for myself. Are you Are you doing anything? Okay. Are you doing anything? It doesn't matter whether I'm doing anything or not. But I mean, are you going to be in the yard? No. Can we just do the? No, and, do, and I'll call the patrol if anybody shows up in my yard. Can we do the front yard? Just Just the front. We won't do. I said if anybody shows up in my yard, I'll call the patrol. Well. Maybe we'll do your next door neighbor then. He he was number t- number two. All right. But you, they might have to walk in your lawn though to do the neighbors. <laughs> Maybe I should say, you know, because it's Thanksgiving and everything, that I'm an Indian and they should be welcoming to me because it's Thanksgiving. And originally that was my land anyway, and she stole it from me. That's what I'll say. Uh, hello. Hello, John. Yep. Hey, it's your neighbor. I live down the street on Chestnut Drive. Uh huh. It, it's Roy. You know, you know, Roy. Roy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Hey, um, my my metal detecting club. We're gonna be at your house in about an hour. Uh, we're gonna be uh looking for things in your yard with our metal detectors. Or what are you looking for? Just just anything. Uh, we, we do this every year. We just pick a random yard, and there's going to be about 20 of us, and we're going to just walk around your yard with metal detectors for about an hour, and any time it beeps, we'll take a, a shovel and dig it up and see what we find. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No, no. We're, we're with the, the Cactus County Metal Detecting Club. And you just pick a random yard and come to metal detect. Yeah, yeah, just here in the neighborhood. We're we're mostly a local, you know, just well, lo- local area, and we we chose ten different addresses, and yours won the vote. Yeah. So we're gonna be there in well, about. Well, you could do it if I was home, but I'm not home. I'm uh, gone for Thanksgiving, so. Oh. So. So, so it won't bo- It won't bother you then. Ho- I'll be home this after. I'll be home later this afternoon, but. No. Oh, we can just do it before you get there. And, and, you know, like, if we find anything super valuable, we'll, we'll cut you in on it. Yeah, why don't you go to somebody else's yard, okay, this time? Oh, no, we've already, um, we, we've already uh, sent out the emails and the texts, and everyone's going to meet there in, in exactly one well, hour. I guess you can... should have notified me before that. You just don't show up at somebody's yard. No. Yeah, but we're, we're not going to hurt anything. We're very respectful of the land. <laughs> If we see anything, any trash, we'll pick it up. We're just like geocachers. No, I don't think so. Not not if I'm there. What? Y- yes, we are. <laughs> well, okay, but you'll be trespassing, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, no, we'll, we'll be. It'll be cool. Like we'll be fine. We're just gonna dig little holes all over the yard. That's all. Yeah. Well, uh, no, that's very funny, but no, you're not. Well, just if we just if we detect something, it would be the word. D- just if we detect something, detect something. If we, you know, metal. If it, if the metal detector starts beeping, we'll dig. I understand that. I metal detect myself. Oh, okay. Well, you seem confused about it. Yeah, I'm very confused. Yeah, no, you better go uh, go to some other random yard. I think today. No, you should join our club if you're into metal detecting, though. Well, if the club just calls up people <laughs> and says we're going to be over in ten minutes, I don't think I want to be in that club. Well, no, not ten minutes. That'd be rude. It's going to be more like an hour and twenty minutes. Well, it sounds rude to me. I, mean, I go metal detecting in Montana. I talk to the property the order. Uh, owner and he's with me when I detect and yeah and, uh, that's no. what that's what I'm doing no. now I'm I'm notifying you letting you know we're just gonna be there we're gonna be about twenty of us if there's anything in your yard we're gonna find it 
Well, I'm notifying you that I'm going to call the patrol and tell them to watch my house till I get home this afternoon. Oh, come on, come on! Don't be, don't be like that. We, we're just. You got lots of houses. Go find another house. Should we do your next door neighbors? <laughs> no, you can't. You're gonna to have to talk to him about that. Okay. Well, I'll just let. I'll tell him that you gave us permission. Yeah, you do. You do that. Okay. I mean, like, you're not just saying we can't because I'm an Indian, are you? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying they can't because you're an asshole. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, come on! Don't don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be like that to my people. <laughs> Your people be offended. So you're digging up ancient people, Indian peoples, indigenous people artifacts. Yeah, haven't you done enough to us? <sighs> well, I've done up a lot of Indian rigs myself. There's no metal in them because they're the Stone Age, so you yeah. need to go out someplace. The metal detector picks up stone arrowheads. Yeah, yeah. So any, anyway, um, we'll, we'll we'll see. Uh, I guess I guess we won't see. Can you tell those people in the background to shut up? Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it's very funny, but you better take your Indian people and your metal detectors and go to another yard where there's better pickings. Okay, racist. Have a nice Thanksgiving. <laughs> you too. <laughs> try, try not to kill any Indians while you're eating. <laughs> okay, we'll see you, Chief. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, this is fun. To all the Indian listeners out there, I just want to just take a second here to apologize for how my people are acting toward you in this episode. It's not cool. Hi, this is Bob Green. Oh, hey, Bob. Yeah. Hey, it's your neighbor, Roy. Um, I live down the street from you on drive. Yeah, yeah, Roy. What what can I do for you? Um, well, I, I, you, you probably know this. I run the, uh, the local metal detecting club, and we're going to be holding an event in your yard in about an hour. Uh, we're going to show uh -huh. up with, with metal detectors, and we're going to go all over your yard and look for things. Okay. Um uh... We're gonna... I, ha I guess I don't have any problem with that. Oh, we're not. That's... We're not. There. We're not there, Roy. We're up here in Sholo right now. Oh, okay. That's uh, you having Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, yes. Is there a reason that you picked our yard? Uh, no, not just... really. It was pretty much random. Uh, we're we're just we just yeah. pick a different yard every year. It's a Thanksgiving thing we do. Yeah. Okay. So... But, um. I, I, in the one hand, I, I say uh, it's okay. In the other hand, I don't know a thing about it. So yeah, yeah, well, we're nice yeah. people. It's a nice little club here in the neighborhood. We're just gonna go all over your yard. There's gonna be about twenty of us with metal detectors, and if it beeps, we're gonna dig a hole. No, uh, I, I, I don't think so. Okay. Oh no, you already um, said okay. You already said it was fine. No, well, hey, hi. This is their daughter, Mindy and you are not going to step foot on that property, or their neighbors will call the cops. Okay, well, you don't have to be Understood? a bitch about it. You don't have to be a bitch about it. I can be, I will absolutely be a bitch about it. Your name was Roy, yeah. and I'm tracing this call. No, Thanks you're not. Thanks very much. No, you're not. Uh, there she goes, just controlling her father's life, just like always. Such a controlling little daughter. Oh. Hello, Christian? Yes, this is he. Hey there, it's uh, Roy. I live down the street from you on Drive. Uh huh. Hey, um, I run the metal detecting club here in the neighborhood, and um. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I we sold that house. We don't live there anymore. Oh, okay. Great. Well, we're gonna do metal detecting on the property. Okay. So uh, I guess it, we don't even have to ask you. Then we're just gonna go over there and do it. Okay. All right. All right. There's, a, there's another owner there. I, her name is Polly, but I don't really know her. I'll tell her that uh, Christian said it's fine. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Hello. Hello, Leo? Yes. Hey, it's Roy. I, I live down the street from you here on Cactus Lane. Yes. And I run the metal detecting club here in the neighborhood. 
Um, I, yes. I, I wanted to let you know we're going to come to your house in about an hour, and we're going to um, you know, meet in the club. We're going to just metal detect all over your yard. Why? Uh, you know, it's just a thing we do every year. We just, no. we just, no. we just pick a yard and no. walk, walk all over it with our metal detectors and dig, no. dig holes. No. no. What, what do you mean, no? I said no. But it, it's a metal detecting club. I don't care if you're president of the United States. I, I didn't. I didn't claim to be president of the United States. Well, I know what? you didn't, but I, I said no, so don't question my. What, why? Why not though? How come? What's your reason? I just said no. Well, um, what, what have you got hidden underneath your yard that you don't want people mm -hmm. finding? Well, nothing, nothing. But I don't need anybody on my property. I don't know. Sounds kind of suspicious. Thank you. Then okay. Like, goodbye. Bye. What, what, what you got no. buried? You got like like gold coins. <laughs> what a sketchy sounding person. You know what? The police could use this as a tactic to find people who are hiding things in their yards. Because if they're hiding something, like Leo obviously was, they're not going to let the local metal detecting club come to their house because they'd find it. Maybe he's got like a, a underground fallout shelter. He's like a skunk works. He just digs his fallout shelter all day. I think that's probably what it is. Or maybe he's got some, some bodies buried in his yard. He's like, oh no, they're going to detect the, the earrings and stuff on him. Maybe he's got a car buried under his yard for an insurance scam that he did back in the 70s. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... I kind of feel like I should turn him in at this point. I should call the authorities and let them know what's going on with this guy. He's got something big hidden under that yard. Hello. Hello, Larry. The Larry. mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages <laughs> at this time. Good. That was his voicemail greeting? What the hell? Hello. Hey, Claudia? Yeah. Hey, it's uh, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. I live down the street on Drive. Oh, okay. And um, I'm... I don't know which house. <laughs> oh, the blue house. Um, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be there uh, in about an hour with me, me and my uh, metal detecting club. We're going to come there and just uh, do metal detecting on your lawn. Uh, we don't have a lawn. Um, well, you know, the ground, just the, the whole ground all over your property. We're just going to, me and about 20 other guys, we're going to just uh, walk around with our metal detectors and see if we find anything. Okay, this is a private house. Is that right? Y yeah, yeah, the one on drive. I, I live just, uh, you know, way up the street in the blue house. Uh, we don't have any blue houses around here. Um, uh -huh. Have you talked to somebody about that earlier? Oh, no, no. I'm just calling you to let you know we're going to be there in about an hour. Maybe an hour and ten minutes or so. Um, what's we, the purpose? Oh, we're, we're just a metal detecting club. We're, we're with the Cactus Country Metal Detecting Club. And we just, we, you know, we just pick random yards, and we picked yours. We're going to come there and just walk around. And if our metal de detectors beep, we're going to dig, dig down and see if we find anything. Um, I don't think so. Oh, no, that's, uh, how, that's how it works. Like, uh, it detects the metal underneath the ground. All right. A lot, lot of times, it's nothing good. You know, it's just bobby pins and paper clips and screws and stuff, nails. But uh, every once in a while, we find like a something valuable. Like you might find, we might find like a big treasure or something on your property. I don't think so. We, we, <laughs> no, we might. You never know. We might find ancient Chinese coins or who knows. You never know till you check. But there's gonna be like twenty of us um, walking around. I'd rather not. Can you cancel it or can you go somewhere else? Oh no, we. I already sent out the email like uh, last night. Well. Well, send out another one and say you have a new location. Oh no, because we don't have that'd be a lie. I don't have a new location. We're just we're gonna do your location. It, it's it, you have no right to be on our property. Well, no, that's why I'm calling to let you know, and we we kind of do. No, I you're mean, not calling to let me know. You didn't ask permission, and I'm not giving permission. Well, well, you know what? Some of us are Indians here, and basically this is our land. Originally, that, that's usually our defense. That, uh, th that argument, I mean, we have a deed with our name on it, so... I know, but, like... Uh, it's not public property. 
if you want to go out on the golf course and fight with the golf course, go ahead. But oh no, we we do that all the time anyway. We we the the golf course course we do that all the time. Okay. Uh, we find lots of stuff out there, but no, we're we're just tr- we're just trying to mark off every house in the entire neighborhood. We we want to just like we we found so many cool things. We found like Civil War cannonballs and stuff, and coins and. Okay. And well, you better change your method because you can't just call and show up in an hour. That's ridiculous. Uh, if you want to do something, you know, give somebody fair warning so that they can check you guys out and. Uh, well, do, you know, do you, look it up on the internet or whatever, you know, but... Oh, no, we're a friendly uh, group. You, you should look us up. C- Cactus Country Metal Detecting Club. Okay, here, we here can in, do that, but I'm not going to do it with, for the next hour. Yeah, oh, well, no, you don't have to do anything. Just stay inside and leave us alone. We're, no, no. What, you want to, like, no, I'll bring an extra detector if you want to come out and detect with us. No, I have a large dog. I, I just... I don't want to be bothered. This is, is, is a holiday. Is he, and just, is he friendly? No. Is he friendly? No, absolutely Oof. not. wonder where he gets that. Uh, yeah, I um, wonder. D- okay. okay. D- don't, do you, don't show up. Do you have something like, do you, are you just hiding something? Like, do you have something buried that you don't want us to find? What? Are you kidding? You know, well, most of our property is paved. So, you know, oh, just, it just, Stop. That, that's going to be hard. Go to somewhere else. Dig. Don't show up here. Well, we're going to do like uh, three houses uh, just right there around yours, too. Fine. So do the other two. Well, no. Don't do ours. Well, no. It'll, it won't be fair if we can only do uh, those two. You know, we fair gotta, to whom? To, to everyone. They're, they're going to feel singled out if, if we only do your, if, if we leave your house alone and we do theirs. Um, and then they'll probably get mad at you because... Oh, right. Uh, I'm sure I can handle that. What is the name of your group again? The Cactus Country Metal D- Detecting Club. You can look us up. We've got a group photo on there on the website. And, and we're friendly people. Some of us are uh, Native Indians. And, uh, you know, all the land is ours, basically. Cactus Country Metal Detecting. Yep. That's okay. us. Yep, just look. You'll, you'll see it. Just do an image search on Google. You'll see okay. our group photo. We're friendly people. We're really nice. You, okay, you, and what are you actually looking for? Uh, no, we're not. I mean, oh, we're, we're just, you know, just whatever we find. We might find valuable coins. We might find, I don't know, uh, you know, just, just stuff that's been buried in the past, old tools. Sometimes we get arrowheads because they got metal in them. Uh, you're not going to find anything here. Um, well, you no, never know. Not, you never know not until welcome, you until you not, not welcome here. Don't don't come here. You never you never know until you have a team of metal detectors combing your entire yard with a metal detector. Do not come here. No, it, it's fine. We're professionals. We we know what we're doing. I don't I don't care. I am not giving you permission. And you know, if you want me to call the authorities, I can do that. <sighs> can I, can I just talk to a manager? A manager of what? This is a house. I don't know. Your husband. <laughs> He's not my manager. <laughs> oh, I, I found her trigger word. I hit a sore spot. Okay, so as much as I'm enjoying this, I mean, I kind of want to just sit here and finish up this entire directory I'm calling from. But I need to try and get this show out today before all of the, uh, you know, Pranksgiving stuff begins. So I think I'm going to end it right there on that one. That was a good call to end on, right? Thanks again, Dude 7 on YouTube for coming up with this idea. It was a good one. I'm definitely going to do this again. Hey, Brad, it's Cisco Kid. Hey, Hey, Cisco Kid. It's that time of year, you know, when I go into the Amazon list and I look at the Bone Losers of America and the Brad Carter Amazon list and uh, buy up a few things, fill up my cart, get an Amazon Prime while I'm at it. and. I thought I'd go ahead and give you a voicemail, ask you if uh, if there's anything specific you might want. The most expensive things. The light switches. Uh, Give me your answer. Otherwise, I'll just kind of go in there and kind of pick out whatever I like. Oh, man. All right, man. Cactus, cactus. Do I have green screens and light switches on my Amazon list still? I can always use some hard drives. I see those are still on here. Oh, yeah. This old switch thing. I should delete this. What the hell? 
They don't even make it anymore. It's one of those Philips Hue switches. And oh yeah, these stand-up lights. These are uh, green screen lights. I mean, they're not really green screen lights, but I think they're what Jack Heliquin uses. It's just a, a nice little floor lamp that has a bunch of LEDs in it. I don't know, really any of this stuff would be awesome. I really appreciate it. Just, just pick the cheapest thing. No need to get fancy. I went through and deleted a few things that I don't need anymore, so you can be assured that it's actually stuff I will use. Thanks, Cisco Kid. You're so nice. Hey, Brad. It's King Cobra once again. Just hey. uh, calling to request more Carol, because Carol is hilarious. All right. More transferring, more, more of the hilarious hold music. You know, there's a little bit of Carol in that PLA show that me and Clay did a couple days ago. The five hour long one. You probably have to listen to a good four hours of it until it comes up, but there's a small that, carol that's bit. That's so funny, and I want to see someone react to it. Also, why no calls from prison or um, the any more Yelp check ins? Because I think you can still do them. Hey, guess what? Uh, well, that's just all I have to uh, request, and King Cobra away. I stopped doing the chili pepper correctional facility thing because, I don't know, it just makes people hang up. But maybe I should bring that back, use it as a challenge. I still have it here on my soundboard. You are receiving a call from an inmate at the chili pepper correctional facility in Roy, New Mexico. To accept this call, press 1. And check-in calls, those are a big pain in the ass. They used to be a lot easier. They're not as easy as they used to be. But I did do a hobo so you heard in the beginning of today's show that is 20 minutes of check-in calls and I need to try and do more of those. I used to be able to do live shows of check-in calls but it seems like that's really hard to do these days. I, I spent a lot of time doing that hobo sode. It just seems to be harder to get through to people or maybe people are just smarter about it these days. Like they check in after they leave. I miss the good old days of check-in calls. Brad! What's up? Gotta cut it short. Hey. So, those calls... Oh wait! Hold on, Big Moist. Also, if you like Carol calls then you definitely need to be listening to Giad's show tomorrow night, Friday night at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. He's going to be doing a three-hour show, and I will be on there with him, and I will probably be Carol for most of that show. He is demanding lots of Carol. So thanks to Giad, you guys are going to get some Carol tomorrow night. Sorry, Big Moist. What were you saying? It's them all for great, great funny calls. I think yeah. my favorite. Personally, yeah. were the ones where you told them that you took their delivery. And it's like, I just put it back on the shelves. Yeah. But anyways, um, I, I stole that idea. I think that was either a Dwight idea or a Carlito idea. I think they've both done that. Question. I use a podcast addict, and I'm subscribed to the uh, Patreon feed you have because it's a lot easier for everything. Yep. But um, I, I for the longest, actually, ever since I've started using that feed instead of the regular PLA feed, I... Uh, I can't see any of, any of the show art, so I can't see any of Nick Caesar's cool show art. It's just all, every single episode is just the logo of PLA, you know, Aww. which is cool, but I was just wondering if I'm doing suck. something wrong or anything, but yeah, that's it. All right, thanks for uh, keeping up the great work. Bye, oh, Big Moist, away! Yeah, that does suck. I didn't realize that it didn't show the show art, so I guess that's just Patreon's fault. I wonder if I embed an image into the show notes on Patreon. Will that make it show art? Maybe I'll try to remember to do that today. So today, if you see that amazing show art that Johnny drew for us come up on your Patreon feed, then it worked. But I'm kind of thinking that's not going to work. I think that's just Patreon sucking, which is too bad. I'll have to play around with that. Brad. Hey. Gabe Newell. Hey, Gabe. You were asking a couple uh, shows ago doing? for some ideas on how to incorporate lesser Patreon backers, people who don't donate uh, $20 a month, and I think I've come up with something for you. Okay. I think you should keep a list of these Patreon backers in the Situation Room with you and then use them whenever a name is called for in one of your prank calls. Okay. For instance, you... Uh, you call a uh, apartment manager or whatever, and they I ask who you live with. You can say, hey, I live with Gabe Newell, for instance. Yeah. I pay my rent to Gabe. I sleep on the couch. Something like that. Something for you to consider. Have yeah. a great day, Brad. Cactus, cactus. That could work. I will definitely consider that. I think people have suggested that before. I mean, some of them I won't be able to do that because they use names like it's not vagina time. I guess I could just throw that into prank calls, too. Hey, I was certain that I saw you in the Home Depot in the Dallas yesterday, but it wasn't you. Ah, oh, darn. Uh, do you ever see fans? Did you go up to them and say, hey, Brad? Because that'd be hilarious. When you're out and about, um, no. you are our favorite e celebrity. 
Yeah, I'm but, just a uh, fake internet celebrity, so nope. Anyways, make a donation to your Patreon. Okay. Um, card number two six seven two four. What? what? Hey! One, nine, what the zero, hell? Six, Stop it! Eight, two, Stopping this voicemail before you get me arrested again. Please don't give your credit card numbers over voicemails. That's a bad idea. Hey, Brad Battle Boner here. Hey. Um, I'm just wondering. Why the fuck do so many people say they don't have caller ID? Yeah, that's weird. Are they lying or do... Like, I just don't think that many people would come up with the same exact response if they were lying. But at the same time, how did that many people not have caller ID in the current year? Yeah, it's crazy. I, I just don't understand, Brad. Maybe you know. Maybe you. they just don't have a phone that... I don't know, really. I don't know. Because for caller ID to work, you have to have a phone that has some sort of other power source on it. Well, I don't know. Everyone has cordless phones. If they have a home phone, hopefully they have a cordless phone. Those those are going to be powered. That's just what I'm thinking. You know, sometimes the batteries run down or they're bad at keeping the phone plugged into the wall so that the extra features like that work. Maybe I should call around and do a survey, ask people if they have caller ID or not. But yes, I agree. It is very weird that a lot of people don't seem to have caller ID these days. Maybe they just don't bother on their home phones because they have cell phones and that's where all the important people call them. Home phones is just a bunch of telemarketers and scammers. And as far as I know, the phone company still charges extra for caller ID. So maybe it's just a way for people to save a little bit of money, get rid of all their extra phone features. Hey. Hey. This is George Donner. Hey there, George. We're listening to your show up here at the Alder Creek Camp in the Sierra Nevada Mountains. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're fucking How freezing you doing? up here. Thanks for asking. Oh, Donner. Anyway, I get we it. We need to borrow one of your snowplows so we can plow our way up to an over Donner Pass and save ourselves from starvation. All right. None of us are subscribers up here, I'll obviously. Drive it up but we there. We want to hear more of that bitch, Carol. Right, right after I finish my Thanksgiving dinner. I'll come up and save you guys. Isn't it weird that the Donners died and they just happened to be on Donners Pass? That's weird, right? Hey, Redbeard. Oh, wait, no. You're not Redbeard. Um, I mean, uh, hey, Brad Carter. Hey. It's Redbeard's son, Gary Busey. Hey, Redbeard's son. I know I haven't called you a while, yeah, but, like, I, okay. I gotta ask you a favor, man. Um, you know, Dad, whenever we're in the car, he just keeps playing, like, this music, and it's just, like, really bad. Is it I just, red like, box I don't and chili peppers? Me, you know, like, it's just not good. Is it so, chip tunes? What I want you to do is Nerd I want core, you to tell him to stop rappy. playing shitty music in the car. Like, I just want to hear some bops, you know? Here's and he's going to say the same thing about me. He's going to be like, well, she don't want to go music either. But, like, he's wrong. All right? You guys need to compromise. What would you say you want to hear? Some bops? To stop playing shitty music in the car. Like, I just want to hear some bops, you know? Some bops? Goodbye. Like, kids bop? Is that what you want? Kids bop? I think you guys should compromise, and he listens to his shitty music one day, and then the next time you listen to your shitty music, just switch off and on every other day. That's what you should do, or, you know, like, just bring your headphones with you and drown it out, or maybe just stop driving around so much. I don't know. Anyway, Redbeard, stop listening to shitty music. Your son wants to listen to Kids Bop. Let him listen to Kids Bop. Hey, RBCP, this is Great Big Pete calling from Canudlia. Hey. Woo! It's fucking snowing up here. That's crazy. Anyways, I just wanted to call to say that I really like the mall calls, man. This this whole fucking carrot top thing, yeah. that has really, really got me going. I really appreciate it. You know what? Yesterday, I really wanted to do a live show during the day where uh, I did nothing but carrot top visiting places. But instead, I had to go around and do some things to prepare for Friday's show with Giad. So it's basically all Giad's fault that I didn't do a show yesterday. But that is my plan soon. I'm going to be doing a live show with nothing but Carrot Top calls. And the chat room can give me Carrot Top ideas. Maybe we can do this on Sunday or Monday. I don't know. But we will be doing an entire show of Carrot Top visiting stores very, very soon. And I think that's a perfect show for a live show. And I want to hear more and more and more and more of these calls. More right. calls. You got it. Funny shit. Carrot top, funny shit. All right. Uh, if you can find a way to work Polly Shore in there too, funny shit. Yeah, he's not as funny and crazy though. Oh, somebody somewhere. Uh, here, let me see if I wrote it in my notes. They had a great idea. 
Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, Adam, he said that uh, Carrot Top's going to bring in watermelons and sledgehammers, and you should get some plastic to cover things up with. That's got to happen on one of the Carrot Top calls. He's going to be smashing watermelons with um, his crazy big prop hammer. Yeah, anyways, uh, i got to go take a shit. Bye. All right, bye. Bradley Carter. There oh. is an uproar here in Tempe, Arizona. Oh. Um, the city of Tempe has just decreed that they are going to be banning uh, these electric scooters that a bunch of the students here at ASU use oh, to no. like, go around these like, electric scooters. Well, maybe they should wear their fucking helmets, and then they wouldn't ban them. Where you pay a dollar a minute. And I guess because they're afraid of liability when someone gets run into yeah. by these electric scooters. Those, those things go sure, fast. But, uh, as you may remember, this is the same city that banned the Waymo self-driving cars. In really? fact, whenever you see a Waymo self-driving car around here, they have to have like special provisions, like a big warning sign. And they're not allowed to use your phone while in your self-driving car and all that kind of stuff. So, I did not know that. I think it would be funny if you called people. A like, big uproar, uproar. I think it would be funny if you called various residents, you know, or you know, university services, and just kind of inquired about how you're bringing a big uh, shipment. <laughs> Of Waymo self-driving electric scooters, and uh, to see how they react. Anyway, okay. that'd be funny. Yeah, Actus. yeah, it would be. I'll get right on that. I could call some people at City Hall with that one, make their heads explode. Why are they banning the electric scooters, though? I've heard of other areas doing that, and then they bring them back. I forget the reasons. It's the King of Nipples here, and I don't know who, but on episode 509, someone was saying that they hated the tunnel calls. Yeah, fuck and that person. And you shouldn't do them? Yeah. I disagree. They're the shit, and you should keep doing them. Okay. I've gotten some funny stories from taking that same idea. So keep on with that shit. All right. Well, I think I promised somebody I would do no more tunnel calls for an entire 30 days. And then I immediately made that Bob Davalina episode of tunnel calls. But 30 days starting after that episode, no more tunnel calls. People seem really divided on the tunnel calls. I don't know why. I think they're awesome. I'd love to just do nothing but tunnel calls forever, but I guess not everybody feels that way. Don't worry, though. There's plenty more to come in the future. I'll never stop doing those. That's all of the voicemails. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Don't forget to listen to Pranksgiving today. Hopefully, you'll get to listen to this show before you listen to Pranksgiving. Don't be listening to this show instead of Pranksgiving. That's rude. Uh, but Pranksgiving, that can be listened to on Mixler.com slash PrankCallNation. I think I forgot to mention that on the beginning of today's show. And I think Carlito told me that you will also be broadcasting it on the Shoutcast, on the Madhouse Shoutcast, which you can find over at madhouselive.com. And maybe I'll do the same. Maybe I'll rebroadcast it on my own Shoutcast. It's going to be fun, though. An entire 24 hours of live prank call shows starting tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. Mixler.com slash prankcallnation. Don't forget to listen. Thank you, Michael D, Not Pike, Teen Wolf Jesus, Toiny Toiny, and It's Not Vagina Time for sponsoring today's show. If you'd like to support the show, please do that at patreon.com slash phone losers. When you sign up at $5 a month or more, you get access to the entire archive of 144 hobosodes, which is about 52 hours of extra material that you've never heard before. Only $5 for about 52 hours of extra stuff. You could listen to 52 hours of stuff in a month and then just unsubscribe until next year. That's what I would do. So please support the show. Thank you for supporting the show. That's all for today's show. I will see you all at 4 in the morning Pacific time, 7 in the morning Eastern time for my three hour long live prank call show during this year's Pranksgiving. Oh, also be sure to listen to Super Phone Brothers and Lux, I guess, is going to be on there too. But I told them I would do my best to come on their show but I can make no guarantees on that because I don't know if I'll be able to wake up in time. I don't even know if I can wake up in time for my own three hours, let alone someone else's. But be listening to them just in case. I've been on their show before. It's kind of fun. Rapping and rappers and just hanging out, doing what I do. I'll make you think, stupid.